China has unveiled five advanced new hypersonic weapons, signaling a significant leap in its military capabilities. This revelation not only underscores China's burgeoning technological prowess, but also raises pressing concerns about the implications for global security dynamics. The introduction of these hypersonic weapons represents a pivotal moment in military technology, promising to redefine the nature of modern warfare. Before we start, hit the like and subscribe buttons for more exclusive news. Hypersonic weapons capable of traveling at speeds exceeding Mach 5 or five times the speed of sound offer unparalleled advantages in terms of speed, maneuverability, and ability to evade traditional defense systems. The strategic value of such weapons is immense, as they can strike targets with unprecedented precision and rapidity, making them a formidable tool in any nation's arsenal. China's announcement of these five new hypersonic weapons highlights its ambition to be at the forefront of this cutting-edge technology, challenging the existing military balance and sparking a new era of arms competition. The first of these hypersonic marvels is the DFZF, a hypersonic glide vehicle HGV, that has been in development for several years. The DFZF can be launched atop a ballistic missile before detaching and gliding at hypersonic speeds towards its target. What sets the DFZF apart is its ability to maneuver during flight, making it extremely difficult for missile defense systems to track and intercept. This capability represents a significant advancement over traditional ballistic missiles which follow predictable trajectories and are more vulnerable to interception. The DFZF's ability to evade defenses and strike with pinpoint accuracy makes it a game-changer in strategic military planning. Another groundbreaking addition to China's hypersonic arsenal is the DF-17, a medium-range ballistic missile designed specifically to carry the DFZF hypersonic glide vehicle. The DF-17 represents an integrated weapon system that combines the long-range capabilities of a ballistic missile with the speed and agility of a hypersonic vehicle. This integration allows the DF-17 to strike distant targets with remarkable speed, reducing the reaction time available to adversaries. The deployment of the DF-17 thus enhances China's ability to project power and influence across the Asia-Pacific region and beyond. The third hypersonic weapon revealed by China is the Xinkong-2, also known as the Starry Sky-2. Unlike the DFZF and DF-17, which rely on ballistic missile launches, the Xinkong-2 is a scramjet-powered cruise missile. Scramjets, or supersonic combustion ramjets, enable sustained hypersonic flight by compressing incoming air before combustion, allowing for continuous propulsion at extremely high speeds. The Xinkong-2's scramjet technology represents a significant leap forward in hypersonic propulsion, offering a platform capable of sustained, maneuverable flight at speeds exceeding Mach 6. This capability makes the Xinkong-2 an ideal weapon for precision strikes against high-value targets, including enemy ships and critical infrastructure. In addition to these three weapons, China has also unveiled two new hypersonic systems designed for anti-ship and anti-aircraft roles. The YJ-21 is an anti-ship hypersonic missile that leverages the speed and maneuverability of hypersonic flight to penetrate advanced naval defenses. Capable of being launched from both land and sea-based platforms, the YJ-21 provides China with a powerful tool to counter adversary naval forces and secure its maritime interests. The rapid development and deployment of the YJ-21 underscore China's strategic focus on enhancing its anti-access-slash-area denial, a 2-slash-AD capabilities, which aim to deter and counter potential threats in the contested waters of the South China Sea and beyond. The final addition to China's hypersonic arsenal is the HQ-19, an advanced hypersonic anti-aircraft missile system. Designed to intercept and destroy incoming hypersonic threats, the HQ-19 represents a critical component of China's layered air defense strategy. With the increasing proliferation of hypersonic weapons, the ability to defend against such threats has become a top priority for military planners worldwide. The HQ-19's development reflects China's recognition of this need and its commitment to safeguarding its airspace against emerging hypersonic challenges. The unveiling of these five advanced hypersonic weapons has profound implications for global security. Hypersonic weapons, by their very nature, compress the decision-making timeline for both offensive and defensive actions. Their incredible speed and maneuverability reduce the reaction time available to adversaries, complicating efforts to detect track, and intercept them. 
This dynamic poses significant challenges to existing defense systems and necessitates the development of new technologies and strategies to counter hypersonic threats. Moreover, the strategic deployment of hypersonic weapons can alter the balance of power in critical regions. China's advancements in hypersonic technology enhance its ability to project power and influence across the Asia-Pacific, a region already marked by complex security dynamics and territorial disputes. The introduction of these weapons could further exacerbate tensions, prompting neighboring countries and rival powers to accelerate their own hypersonic development programs in a bid to maintain strategic parity. The United States and Russia, both leaders in hypersonic research, have been closely monitoring China's progress. The revelation of these new weapons is likely to intensify the ongoing arms race, as each nation seeks to outpace the others in developing more advanced and capable hypersonic systems. The strategic calculus of deterrence and defense is being reshaped by the advent of hypersonic weapons, necessitating new doctrines and approaches to security planning. In response to China's hypersonic advancements, the United States has been ramping up its own efforts to develop and deploy hypersonic weapons. The U.S. Department of Defense has prioritized hypersonic research with multiple programs underway to test and field both offensive and defensive hypersonic systems. The focus is not only on developing hypersonic missiles, but also on enhancing early warning and tracking capabilities to better detect and respond to hypersonic threats. The deployment of space-based sensors and advanced radar systems is critical to providing the necessary situational awareness in the face of these rapidly evolving threats. Russia, too, has made significant strides in hypersonic technology, with notable developments such as the Avangard hypersonic glide vehicle and the Zircon hypersonic cruise missile. These systems, like their Chinese counterparts, are designed to evade traditional missile defenses and deliver high-speed, precise strikes against strategic targets. The interplay between these three major powers in the hypersonic domain is creating a new strategic environment, where the ability to deploy and counter hypersonic weapons is becoming a central element of national security strategies. The implications of China's hypersonic advancements extend beyond the immediate realm of military strategy. The development and deployment of these weapons also raise important questions about arms control and international stability. Traditional arms control agreements such as the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces INF Treaty, and the Strategic Arms Reduction Treaty START, were designed in an era when hypersonic technology was not yet a factor. The advent of hypersonic weapons necessitates a re-evaluation of existing arms control frameworks and the development of new agreements that address the unique challenges posed by these systems. International efforts to regulate and limit the proliferation of hypersonic technology will be crucial in preventing a destabilizing arms race. Multilateral dialogue and cooperation will be essential to establishing norms and agreements that can mitigate the risks associated with hypersonic weapons. However, achieving consensus on such measures will be challenging, given the strategic advantages that hypersonic capabilities confer and the competitive nature of great power relations. Beyond the strategic and geopolitical implications, the development of hypersonic weapons also has significant technological and industrial impacts. The research and development of hypersonic systems drive advancements in various fields, including materials science, aerodynamics, propulsion, and guidance systems. The challenges of achieving sustained hypersonic flight and maneuverability require cutting-edge innovations and collaboration across multiple disciplines. The technological breakthroughs achieved in the pursuit of hypersonic weapons can have broader applications, contributing to advancements in civilian aerospace and other high-tech industries. China's unveiling of its five advanced hypersonic weapons is a testament to its growing capabilities in this critical domain. The DF-ZF hypersonic glide vehicle, the DF-17 ballistic missile, the Xingkong-2 scramjet-powered cruise missile, the YJ-21 anti-ship missile, and the HQ-19 anti-aircraft missile collectively represent a significant leap forward in military technology. These systems enhance China's strategic options and project its power and influence in key regions, challenging the existing security architecture. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, could you leave your comments below and tell us, are you surprised by China's new hypersonic weapons? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.